This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some big updates to share with you. President Biden made a threat towards Putin saying that he cannot remain in power anymore. Created a big global uproar. The White House had to do some damage control. I'll play the video clip of what he said. I'll give you the latest stimulus check news, gas stimulus check news, and gas tax suspension. Also articles like this, Fort stimulus check update, millions of Americans could receive payment. And then... Cola increase 2022 exact date $2,750 monthly check will arrive revealed and then applications for two guaranteed income programs are opening soon and you could get up to $1,000 a month and one state is giving $230 million of stimulus money to certain areas and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. If you appreciate the fact-based fast-paced update, hit the like button down below and I'm giving $200 to my subscribers. I'll talk more about that later on in the video. Video. and yesterday I had a pickleball tournament. If you want to check out the clips of the best game at the tournament that I played in, uh, you can wait till the end of the video and I'll link to that. But first, President Biden says, Putin cannot remain in power in sweeping speech on Russian invasion of Ukraine. This caused a big global uproar. This, he actually went off script when he said this part of the speech rather than reading off the teleprompter. Take a look at this video clip right here explaining more. Kelly joins me now from Warsaw. Kelly, there was a lot on the line during this trip. So what comes next? Well, Jose, first, the president flies back to the United States overnight, where he says his focus will be on maintaining unity among NATO leaders on all aspects of the war response. And that unity is considered an asset because the leaders he met with this week don't know what Putin will do next. But let me know, was that the right thing to say, what President Biden said about Putin? A lot of people are thinking it, but could his words have been a little more diplomatic or was it the right thing to say and how he said it? Could it have caused a war of how he said it? Let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. Speaking of the president, so President Joe Biden to propose new 20% minimum billionaire tax. So the billionaire minimum income tax would assess 20% minimum tax rate on on how U.S. households worth more than $100 million. Over half the revenue could come from those for more than a billion dollars. So let me know, is this the right thing to do? Tax the rich 20%, should it be more? So that means if someone has $100 million or they make $100 million, the U.S. government's gonna get 20 million of that. Is this a good idea, bad idea? Should it be more, should it be less? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Next, let's get into the stimulus check news. So fourth stimulus check update, millions of Americans could receive payments. So what this is talking about is the latest proposal, the gas stimulus check proposal, also known as the Gas Rebate Act of 2022, which is going to give $100 rebates or $100 checks to Americans and another $100 for each dependent. So you could have up to $300 per household per month with this, uh, with this gas stimulus check proposal. And then also in terms of gas tax suspensions that are going on. So currently, <clears throat> excuse me, gas tax suspension plans in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. So far, just Connecticut, Maryland, and Georgia are the only three that have it, and New York is the latest that is hinting at it. Uh, Governor Hochul hints that gas tax Oh, these sites are so annoying. <laughs> Gas tax suspension possible in budget. So they could be the latest. A few states have been talking about it, saying that there's plans, but only three so far. Tennessee sets aside $230 million in stimulus money for hospitals and nursing homes. So in Tennessee, this extra $230 million from the third stimulus check package, they're using that money for nursing homes and hospitals. It doesn't mention anything else about stimulus checks or anything like that. Then stimulus checks for inflation. Here are the states planning to send money to residents. So the latest states, I'll go through this really quick, that are giving out stimulus checks. So California, $400 per vehicle, cap of two vehicles per household. Georgia, giving $250 per single taxpayer, $375 per head of household, and $500 per married couple that files together. Hawaii, $100 per taxpayer and each dependent. Idaho, 12% of a resident's Idaho income tax return or $75 per taxpayer, whichever amount is greater. Indiana giving $125 per taxpayer filing for 2022. Maine, $850 for most residents. Minnesota, $1,000 per couple, $500 per single. 
New Jersey, $500 per family for about 1 million families. New Mexico, five, uh, $250 per individual, $500 per married couple with income limits of $75,000 for single and $150,000 for joint filers. New York, property tax rebate program with an average of $970 for homeowners outside of New York City. And then Virginia, either $250 or $300 per individual and either $500 or $600 per married couple couple. So those are the 11 states with their stimulus check programs, gas stimulus check programs, tax rebate programs all lumped together right there. If you appreciate me just giving you the facts right here and not dragging it out for an entire video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I like to get right to the point. And then also $100 stimulus check proposed to reduce burden on Americans. This is that same plan that I mentioned earlier, the $100 stimulus check or the tax rebate or a gas rebate of 2022 act. So that's just talking more about that. Then this one, check the calendar, COLA increased 2022 social security payment, exact date, $2,750 monthly check will arrive revealed. So basically, if you are getting your social security check, this isn't any new news to you, basically talking about the hike here. So the COLA check, monthly check went from $1,565 to $1,657 a month from the COLA. And then for couples, it rose $154, which is where they're getting that number I said before. So it went from $2,599 to $2,753 per couple with the COLA increase. So that's basically all this is talking about. If you're getting your social security check, this is no news here. And then uh, for this one, applications for two guaranteed income programs opening soon, and you could get up to $1,000 a month. So two programs here, applications open in just a few days. One of them is the Breathe program in Los Angeles, which is going to give 1,000 eligible residents $1,000 per month for three years. Applications open up on March 31st. And then another program here is the Guaranteed Income for Single Moms, which is launching in El Monte City Council in California, so another California city, which will provide $500 per month to 125 eligible participants for one year. And those applications start on March 31st as well. And yeah, those are just for single moms with children under the age of 18. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella, this is the tip of the day. Do you like my uh, stress ball? You squeeze it and then you feel better. So, so I'm gonna tell you one thing you should do. Do the things that you wanna do because that you only have one life. Thank you so much for watching. So as I mentioned earlier, yesterday did a pickleball tournament with my friend who just pretty much started out playing pickleball and we got the bronze medal. We got third place with that, which was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, take a look at this clip right here. This is us playing probably one of the, it was the, this was the silver medal team, but was more favored to win the entire tournament. And so we played pretty well against them. Uh, if you wanna check out that match, you could click the link at the top of the screen right here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe, thank you for watching.